Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. Welcome to the show. I'm Richard E. Hawthorne, and you join me today for Two Point Radio's Election Day Special. We'll be talking all things mayoral as Two Point County approaches another important day in its history, and indeed, its future. Get in touch to tell us what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Who will be the next mayor of Two Point County? You decide. Return to the hospital. Thank you. We're more of 
back. Today's election sees incumbent Mayor Tabitha Winsock take on all challengers. One such foe is Gumbo McNally. Yes, the cousin of Jumbo CEO, Jumbo McNally. Ms. Winsock has held a steady, some say tedious, lead in the polls over Mr. McNally. But what effect, if any, will his last gas speech have on today's proceedings? If you missed it, Mr. McNally finished a rousing 12-minute display with a story of how he once took a modest pile of change from his father and turned it into an impressive lunchtime spread, featuring sandwiches, crisps, and sausage rolls. Oh, now that is impressive. Students are reminded that I'm not your mum. From Michelle and Smogley, I spoke to Mayor Winsock after a Q&A once and told her that I'd written her a letter. She said that she remembered reading it, but I'd never sent it to her. So what? Did she break into my house? Or is she, like, telepathic, but just with post? What a lovely anecdote, Michelle. And aren't we lucky to have a mayor that's willing to go above as well as beyond? Students are asked not to ask questions.
are expensive and education is priceless. from Smell My Cash. Being a student is hard enough. <laughs> the least we could do is give you loads of money. Smell My Cash for students. Sure, you have to pay it back, but that's future use problem. Announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means.
It's election day here in Two Point County. Who else remembers the year they tried to hold the election through a bungle-made phone application? It's amazing to think that we'll never know whether the app didn't work or if no one voted that year. That's the mysterious wonder of pioneering technology. Anyway, here's hoping that this year we'll get some votes in. Hard work may or may not pay off. It's too late to start trying. a word from Jeffrey in Blayton. I for one think things have been all right, but you know, could they have been better? I think I speak for everyone when I say, yes, maybe they could have. Well, thanks for your time. <laughs> These words. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. End of year results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do?
Witching hour is almost here, and this journalist's heart is positively beating with legislative excitement. But while we wait for the final count, I'll leave you with this. I spoke to my neighbor last weekend, and he informed me that he never decides his vote until he's in the booth. Giving that fateful cross to whichever candidate has the funnier name just goes to show we're all a bit of method and all a bit of madness. The campus is expanding, even more than usual. You students should make a good first impression. No pressure. It's not your year, it's just another year. are reminded that this is the fun part. announcement. The 
votes are in and we're hearing that it's a landslide victory for Mayor Tabitha Windsock. Some people are bound to be pleased, while others must be feeling something else entirely. What we do know is that democracy has triumphed, meaning that, yet again, the people of Two Point County will be getting what they asked for. We've made our bed, and now it's time to sleep in it. Good night. Frequently asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink.
questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. You're listening to Campus Radio and DJ Shorts bringing you small batch homegrown radio with the pulp left in. Here's a musical palate cleanser that's sure to wash that pre-digested rubbish out of your ears. See if you can taste the difference. Theatre. 